Hello students I hope you all will be good at your places and today I am just going to start the next chapter in geometry chapter 27 quadrilateral and along with I will make you do the exercise 27a in this chapter so first of all let's understand what is the quadrilateral a simple closed plane figure having the four side will be called a quadrilateral as you can see here in this figure that this is the simple closed plane figure and having four side 1 2 3 4 same in all these figure you can see that four sides are there so these all are the quadrilateral in every quadrilateral four vertices are there i told you what is the vertex where two line segment meet together so in quadrilateral four vertices are there okay you can see here a b c d four vertices are there i have given the name of the vertices in this figure and in every quadrilateral two diagonals are there what is the diagonal you can see here two line segments are inside the quadrilateral so these line segments these line are called as diagonals got it what is the diagonal a line which connects the opposite vertices together is called a diagonal as you can see here in this figure a and c two opposite vertices are there and this line is just connecting both the vertices together so ac is the diagonal and same b and d two vertices are there and bd line is just connecting both the vertices together so bd is diagonal ac and bd two diagonals are there in this quadrilateral okay along with that in every quadrilateral four angles are there as you can see here in this figure that at every vertex one angle is there so that's why in every quadrilateral four angles are there okay one more important thing that the sum of all the angle in a quadrilateral is 360 degree okay suppose this is the angle x this is y this is z and this is w so w plus x plus y plus z is equal to 360 degree okay the sum of all the angles in a quadrilateral is 360 degree got now after that we will just do the exercise 27a the first portion of this exercise is saying that the two angle of a quadrilateral are 89 degree and 113 degree and other two angles are equal so you have to find the value of the equal angle okay so this is question number 1 suppose first angle is 89 degree okay second angle 113 degree and third and fourth angle is x okay we have just suppose that the third and fourth angle is x got and as we know that the sum of all the angle in quadrilateral is 360 degree so sum of all angles in quadrilateral is equal to 360 degree okay therefore 89 degree plus 113 degree plus x plus x because we have just suppose that the third and the fourth angles are x okay so this is the first angle second angle and third and fourth angle it will be equal to 360 degree okay now when you will add it you will get the 200 2 plus 2x is equal to 360 degree okay now this 202 will go to the right side so 2x will be 360 degree minus 202 degree okay so 2x will be when you will subtract you will get the 158 and x is equal to 158 upon 2 and when you will just divide it so 2 7s and 2 9s so x is equal to 79 degree okay so the equal angle means the angle third and the angle fourth will be the 79 degree got it now i am just going to tell you the question number 2 in this question two angle of a quadrilateral are given 68 degree and a 76 degree and the ratio between two other angle is given the 5 is to 7 and you have to find these angles okay so this is the question number 2 and the first angle of a quadrilateral is given 
68 degree okay and second angle is given the 76 degree and ratio between third and fourth angle is given 5 to 7 okay the ratio between the angle third and fourth is given the 5 to 7 and you have to find their value so first of all we will suppose that third angle is equal to 5x and fourth angle is 7x and as you know that the sum of all the angle in a quadrilateral is 360 degree so 68 degree plus 76 degree plus 5x plus 7x is equal to 360 degree okay so when you will add it so 7x and 5x will be the 12x and 68 and 76 it will be the 6 at 4 and 14 okay 144 plus 12x is equal to 360 degree so 12x will be 360 minus this will go to the right side 144 so 12x is equal to when you will subtract it and then you will find the 1 and 2 means 216 so x is equal to 216 upon 12 and now we will just divide it so 12 one the 12 and it is 9 and 9 is 96 and it is the 12 eight the means the value of x is 18 okay and we have to find the third and the fourth angle so now we will put the value of x in 5x and the 7x to get the third and the fourth angle so it will be the third angle is equal to 5x is equal to 5 into 18 so it will be the 90 okay and the fourth angle is equal to 7 into x is equal to 7 into 18 is equal to 126 okay 126 degree so these are two angles means angle third is 90 degree and angle fourth is 126 degree now i'm just going to tell you the question number 3 okay so question number 3 in this question four angles are given 4x degree 5x plus 2 and 7x minus 20 and at last 6x plus 3 degree okay and you have to find in first part you have to find the value of x okay so how do we find the value of x as you know that the sum of all the angle is 360 degree so we will just add all the angle together so 4x plus 5x plus 2 plus 7x minus 20 plus 6 x plus 3 is equal to 360 degree okay now first of all we will solve the bracket so 4x plus 5 into x 5x plus 5 into 2 10x plus 7x minus 20 plus 6 into x 6x plus 6 into 3 18 is equal to 360 degree now variable 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 and variable okay we will just solve the constant and variable separately so 4x 5x 9x and 7x 16x and 6 22x after that constant constant and constant 10 plus 18 28 28 minus 20 it is 8 plus 8 is equal to 360 degree now 22x will be 360 minus 8, so 22x is equal to uh, 352. Okay, so x will be 352 upon 22. Now we will just solve it. So it will go by the 
टू इलेवन टू सा मीन्स टू वन सा टू टू वन सा टू एंड टू वन सा एंड टू सेवन सा एंड टू सिक्स सा ओके ना इलेवन वन सा इलेवन इलेवन सिक्स सा मीन्स सिक्सटीन विल कम वेन यू विल जस्ट डिवाइड वन सेवेंटी सिक्स बाय द इलेवन सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज सिक्सटीन ओके सो द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इज सिक्सटीन नाउ द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस क्वेश्चन इज सेंग डेट फाइंड द एंगल ऑफ द क्वारल ओके सो हाउ डू फाइंड द एंगल फ्रॉम दिस so as you can see that we have got the x is equal to 16 so you will just put the value of x in all these angle one by one and you will just keep on getting the angle in degree suppose x is equal to 16 is there so you will just put the value of x in 4x so 4 into 16 will be the 64 okay so this is the first angle same you will just put the value in this angle then this and at last in 6x plus 3 okay now i'm just going to tell you the question number 11 In question number 11 one figure is given in this figure one quadrilateral is given and three angle is given internal angle okay and one external angle is given so we have to find from this figure the value of x so how do we find the value of x from this so as you can see here this is the external angle of this quadrilateral and this angle will be the linear adjacent angle okay this angle will be the linear adjacent angle because the both the angle are present at a straight line so what will be the value of this suppose this is the angle a this is angle a and you know that the sum of both the angle will be the 180 degree because both the angle are the linear adjacent angle so 70 plus a is equal to 180 degree then a is equal to 180 minus 70 degree and a is equal to 110 degree okay why we have done so because these are linear adjacent angles okay the reason is that the both are linear adjacent angles so from here we have just got the so from here we have just got the angle a so this is the 110 degree 110 degree now we have all the four angle of the quadrilateral okay and we have to find the value of x and you know that the sum of all the angle of a quadrilateral is 360 degree so what you will do you will just add all the angle so therefore 80 plus 56 plus 3x minus 6 plus 110 is equal to 360 degree okay so from this equation you will just find the value of x as i told you in question number 3 okay this is an algebraic expression i have already taught you the algebra in which we used to find the value of x got it so these were some question which i told you from this exercise and rest of the question you will try on your own and till then you just keep practicing thank you